What is going on guys? How are we all doing? Welcome to another matchday experience on the channel. It's been a couple of days since the old Easter weekend. Nine games in five days trip. Finally over it, over the tired. But it was an incredible weekend. Nine games in five days, it was so, so good. Um, tonight I'm off to Bromsgrove Sporting against Uto Exeter or Utoxter or Utexter, I've got no idea how you pronounce it. <clears throat> in the Midlands League Division 1, I think. Um, it's quite a long journey for a midweek. I don't normally go this far, um, but the club have invited me over um, and I'm willing to help out with my charity challenge, which if, you don't, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what the challenge is, then link's in the description. But I'm doing a ground hopping challenge for one year where I visit as many football grounds as I can. I'm currently on 15, 14, 15 so far, and I've been doing it about three weeks, so started very well so off to here tonight obviously Saturday going back to Hereford to watch them lift the trophy I was there earlier on in the season um, and I absolutely love Hereford club and the fans are absolutely incredible so really looking forward to that and then Sunday's the big one Aston Villa against Birmingham City which is kindly sponsored by One Football. yeah crazy excited for that one um, yeah, that's the, so that's the big one, but sort of building up to it this weekend. And yeah, looking forward to ticking off another ground today. So tonight will be ground 130 in total. Um, and I think 15th in the challenge or 16th in the challenge. So yeah, let's come, let's go. Come along with me. Hope you enjoy. Some people say, oh, you've got championship players. We haven't got fucking championship players. That would be a massive improvement on what we've got. We've got a lot of pretenders who've somehow made it through the scout network of Newcastle, which is a fucking shambles at the best of times, and got a massive multi-million pound contract to be fucking shit. Newcastle have just played the two most... Nothing better than the ma pre-match entertainment than listening to True Geordie's old podcasts. Not even the podcast, just his uh, football hangover videos from when Newcastle got relegated. Pure genius entertainment. I'm not paying you enough, okay? Oh, so, uh, maybe if you up your wages, I might actually put some fucking craft in. I don't care, they make it out to be so complicated. Zonal marking. Arrived into Bromsgrove for the game tonight. It's about 45 minutes till kickoff. Eight o'clock kickoff, which is a bit of a strange one. I'm not used to non league games kicking off this late um, but I actually forgot that they play at Worcester City as well, well sorry Worcester City play at Bromsgrove's ground so I'm actually getting myself up to 9 out of 22 in the National League North tonight as well I don't know if they're staying there next season or not if you know leave it in the comments yeah Bromsgrove's nice it's a nice evening for football I'm on my own tonight which is annoying but I'll hopefully meet some people at the club if they got in touch with me and have been kind enough to sort me out free entry tonight and I'm also in the programme I think just need to find a cash point so I can actually get a programme but yeah looking forward to it I'll see you in the ground Absolutely cracking ground here. So I've just been speaking to a number of people that at, at, at the club, um, really good people actually. Um, they've just been telling me that <clears throat> it's sort of a massive ground for this level. Um, and it was from when Bromsgrove Rovers used to play here, and they folded. I think it was back in 2010. Um, and Worcester are now ground sharing here um, due to financial reasons and having to sell their ground a few years back. So. Yeah, you learn something new all the time doing these ground hops. But yeah, I'm gonna read the program now, see where I am. Just about to kick off 
another good attendance here at Bromsgrove. They've been having some really good attendances, including some like two or three thousand in the FA bars recently. Um, unfortunately, they didn't make it to the final. Um, but yeah, looking forward to the FA Vars final in a couple of weeks' time. So just kicked off. Bromsgrove have already won the league, so they're going to be promoted next year into the Midlands Premier League. Um, and yeah, so hopefully some goals tonight come a long way. Send him off. For those of you who don't understand sense of humor, sarcasm, that's sarcasm. Mainly aimed at Huddersfield fans. been a red card for the Bromsgrove striker, not a clue why. Fans don't like it.
they play it? The um, the. Um... About five minutes to go here and I'm off. <sighs> two hour journey home and due to it being an eight o'clock kickoff rather than quarter two or half seven, I'm already gonna be home very late. So I'm off now. It's currently two one. Um, they've gone and retained by the looks of it their unbeaten record for the season so far in the league. I think they've got two games left so they looks like they're gonna be finishing unbeaten, which is class. A crowd of over 680 I think it was, which at this level is extremely good. Whether you're a club that's previously gone under and restarted, that's still very good at this level and it's good to see fans sticking by their clubs, whatever level they play at. Um, good to meet a couple of ground hoppers tonight as well. Um, and yeah, thoroughly enjoyable. Too late now though, I need to go to bed. Um, I hope you're looking forward to the videos this weekend. Back off to Hereford, one of my favourite non-league grounds and clubs on Saturday. And then it's the big one, Aston Villa, Birmingham on Sunday. <laughs> Cannot wait for it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If we could get 200 likes, that'd be great. And I'll see you on Saturday. Take care. Bye.